The death toll rises as nursing home operator faces seven closures and legal scrutiny over hurricane evacuation and three main nursing homes to close for good after exhausting every staffing resource. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, September 8th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tomorrow on Thursday, September 9th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Central Time, join Lori Porter and Lisa Sweet as they kick off a series of webinars designed to help you provide the best possible care for your residents and yourself. Registration information is posted on NACA's Facebook page. Seven nursing home residents have now died after being shipped to a warehouse in advance of Hurricane Ida, and Louisiana officials have ordered the temporary closure of the seven nursing homes where they lived. The developments came as state and local agencies tussled over who would investigate the deaths and the decisions that led up to them. Health officials at multiple sites also were concerned about the spread of infectious disease, including COVID-19, after patients had been kept in close quarters with little or no apparent infection prevention efforts. On Saturday, the Louisiana Department of Health issued an emergency order prohibiting nursing home owner Bob Dean or anyone else from repatriating residents back to the original nursing homes. It will remain in effect for all seven nursing homes through at least September 10th or until health department can finish a full investigation of the evacuation. Outrage at the evacuation's failed execution mounted through the weekend as more details emerged and the death toll mounted. The state has now attributed five of seven resident deaths that occurred after the evacuation as, quote, storm-related, but released no further details on the causes. While state officials initially approved the warehouse and independence as a temporary shelter, they have said they were rebuffed when they tried to return and investigate complaints after Ida came ashore as a Category 4 storm. Frontline staff who tried to care for the displaced residents have since reported that power outages led up to two days without air conditioning. Video also showed water had infiltrated the building at some point, covering parts of the concrete floor where mattresses were arranged close together. Three rural Maine nursing homes announced their pending closures this week, all of them citing staffing challenges and the ongoing pandemic. Officials at the 38-bed nonprofit Island Nursing Home in Deer Isle on Monday used social media to announce they would close at the end of October after 40 years in business. That news was followed in quick succession by similar announcements from two more rural providers. Country Manor Nursing Home in Cooper Mills with 30 beds and the 21-bed Somerset Rehabilitation and Living Center in Bingham. Both facilities have informed the state about their plans. Island Nursing Home had a six-week COVID-19 outbreak with 100 cases and 14 resident deaths per the Maine Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Quote, this has taken an unbelievable emotional toll on the staff who are there, said Jess Maurer, executive director of the Maine Council on Aging. Jess continued, across the whole state, we're seeing staff vaccinated or not walking away from their jobs. For its part, Island Nursing Home's board of directors says, quote, there are simply not enough qualified staff available in a rapidly declining healthcare workforce. We have spent months exhausting every staffing resource at our disposal, and beginning this fall, we will no longer be able to meet our minimum staffing requirements. Island Nursing also blamed its inability to attract new staff on its remote location, main winters, and the lack of affordable housing near their facility. Country Manor managers said that they will close because of declining occupancy and staffing shortages and the fact that six direct care and nursing employees out of 58 total said they would not be vaccinated against COVID-19. Maine's healthcare staff vaccine mandate goes into effect on October 1st. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.